The extended classroom approach enables us to transform a small set of conventional learning and teaching practices into a richer repertoire of learning design patterns. Some of the common patterns are listed here. For example, lecture capture might give us the freedom necessary to use a flipped classroom approach. The extended classroom toolset then allows us to implement a wider range of learning design patterns. This broadened repertoire in turn allows us to reflect on our designs through many different lenses, each with its own concepts, practices, priorities, values, ambitions and capabilities. For example, we could get students to record and reflect on their progress when learning ideas and methods that are rooted in their specific academic discipline. We can see that through the discipline lens. And at the same time, they can create an additional layer of interpretation and presentation oriented towards prospective employers. So we can see that through the employability lens. And this could happen within their personal My Portfolio space. We do, however, need to be aware of the constraints and complexities introduced by the varying capabilities, experiences and expectations of different people, as seen through these multiple lenses. What are the training and support issues that these variations add to the design of your projects? They will be different for staff and students. We will inevitably find many constraints blocking progress from this reflective stage through to the design and implementation stages. And the Extended Classroom Initiative has been designed with such constraints in mind. It aims to give us greater flexibility in the practical conditions under which learning takes place, the when, where, how and what of learning, by understanding the Extended Classroom toolset in the context of your learning design ambitions and the various lenses through which we see learning design, you should be able to achieve worthwhile and enduring innovations.